The depths of our planet are home to a fascinating diversity of cave systems, from ancient mines to lonely caverns with billions of years of history. Inside, objects and living beings have remained hidden and forgotten for centuries, decomposing in darkness and silence. In this exploration, we will delve into some of the most intriguing discoveries unearthed in these mysterious caverns, including one that has remained sealed for millions of years. But, Israeli scientists discovered an ancient ecosystem in an underground cave near the town of Romli. This cave, located 328 feet underground in a limestone quarry, has been protected from the outside world for millions of years. Eight previously unknown species were found there, including crustaceans and invertebrates that resemble scorpions and shrimp. The cave ecosystem is special and secluded, with passages stretching for approximately 1.5 miles. The discovery highlights our lack of knowledge about life on our planet and the importance of continued research. The creatures in the cave have been protected by a layer of chalk impervious to water and external nutrients. These species depend on a self-sufficient and independent ecosystem, in contrast to animals that depend on the photosynthetic food chain. Although there are other similar caves in Mexico and Romania, none are as remote as this Israeli cave. The Rising Star Cave System in South Africa has revealed discoveries that challenge our ideas about human evolution. Before the first signs of burial by modern humans, evidence was found that an ancient and mysterious human species buried their dead and left carvings on cave walls. This suggests that these behaviors were not exclusive to the more intelligent Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, as previously believed. In 2013, during excavations in the Rising Star Cave system in South Africa, the first fossils of Homo nality were discovered. These caves are part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is considered the birthplace of humanity. In this region, researchers have found fossils of several species of early human ancestors, contributing to our understanding of the history of human evolution. Dr. Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist and National Geographic explorer-in-residence, has led a team of explorers in investigating vast and dangerous cave systems. Their goal is to learn more about extinct hominins and early human ancestors. Recently, the team made a significant discovery, skeletons of adult and juvenile homo nality that were preserved in the fetal position in depressions in the cave floors. These burials date back at least 100,000 years before known Homo sapiens burials. During exploration of the tombs in the cave, markings were found on the walls, including geometric designs and cross lines similar to hashtags. These marks are estimated to be between 241 and 335,000 years old, although more testing is required to confirm their exact age. Homo nality has been found to have practiced intentional burials, used symbols, and engaged in meaning-related activities. These findings suggest that these early human ancestors were involved in sophisticated rituals associated with death, indicating that symbolic behaviors are not unique to humans and may not be novel. Homo nality were characterized by having smaller heads, shorter statures, and a more robust build than humans but they also walked upright and used their hands to manipulate objects. Numerous Homo nality fossils have been discovered in the caves, including adults and newborns, providing information about their population. Furthermore, Homo nality was observed to be very familiar with the cave system and used it extensively. The theory that this species intentionally deposited its dead in caves was controversial due to the size of its brain and has been widely discussed. In 2018, researchers discovered that Homo nality deliberately buried their dead in oval holes in the cave. They found bodies rolled up in tombs carved into horizontal slopes, showing they were not transported accidentally. The bodies were completely covered in soil before decomposing showing that they were buried as complete human entities. They also found carvings on the wall and a tool buried next to an adult homo nality. The walls of the cave had geometric engravings made in dolomite, 
a very resistant rock. There is no evidence that humans have been in the caves, suggesting that homonality made the engravings. Additionally, homonality used fire inside the caves, as evidenced by the soot, charcoal, and burned bones found in them. Homonality symbols and burials suggest significant behaviors, but researchers are unsure of their meaning or whether they served as a form of interspecies communication. Several species, including Homonality, Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans, engaged in behaviors previously thought to be unique to humans. This challenges our ideas about when hominins began using fire, creating meaning, and burying their dead. Researchers continue to study homonality to learn more about its age, relationship to humans, and the possibility of finding DNA in bones found in caves. Have you ever wondered what could be hidden inside a cave closed for 5 million years, completely isolated from the outside world? Dinosaurs, prehistoric insects, or maybe even extraterrestrial life? Nobody had the answer until Dr. Christian Lascu, in Romania, managed to open the door to a cave that had remained unexplored for 5.500 million years. Muvul Cave in Romania has remained isolated from the outside world for millions of years. A limestone rock blocked the cave entrance at the same period when our prehistoric ancestors were beginning to evolve into humans. When scientists finally opened it in the 21st century, they discovered that the inhabitants of Mobile Cave are truly unique. This cave in Romania has been sealed for millions of years, creating unique conditions inside. Although toxic and oppressive, researchers consider it a treasure. Fewer than 100 people have entered the cave since its discovery in 1986. It is protected by limestone shafts and tunnels, and can currently only be accessed with special permission. The air inside has low oxygen content and high levels of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. There is no sunlight and the temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The smell of rotten eggs indicates the presence of hydrogen sulfide, which is extremely lethal. The cave has allowed extraordinary life to flourish, including chemosynthetic bacteria that could help tackle greenhouse gases. Most of the cave's inhabitants are blind and colorblind. They don't need sight or beauty in complete darkness. They are thin, with long legs and antennas to orient themselves in the dark. The presence of chemosynthetic microbes makes them look like aliens. Instead of photosynthesis, they obtain energy and carbon through chemical reactions, such as the oxidation of sulfur or ammonium. It is not known how the animals got to the cave or how they became trapped there. There are 48 different species, including spiders, scorpions, and centipedes. Surprisingly, 33 of them are unique to this cave and are not found anywhere else on Earth. They have been there longer than humans have existed but their discovery was delayed due to isolation in the closed cave. Most of the creatures in the cave are blind and lack pigmentation. They have developed antennae and long limbs to move without relying on sight. They are unlike anything we have seen before in an environment without sunlight. The evolution in this place seems strange. The area has a unique ecosystem that takes advantage of the dangerous gases in the cave. Some species can thrive on these gases, although we cannot survive on them. Bacteria perform chemosynthesis, converting harmful gases into food. This chemical process provides energy and food to these bacteria, similar to photosynthesis in plants. Smaller organisms feed on bacteria and are then consumed by larger animals, such as scorpions and spiders. In turn, worms, shrimp and other small creatures feed on the bacteria. This self-sustaining life cycle allows everything in the cave to live and thrive. Moval Cave is a unique environment on dry land, similar to environments found in the deep ocean near hydrothermal vents. Researchers have had access to this cave for many years and hope to obtain new data on evolution. Although experts still don't understand how the animals got to the cave, 
Some bacteria are thought to have been there for much longer than 5 million years, while other animals may have accidentally fallen in before the cave was sealed. These animals have adapted to survive with the limited resources available. More than 50 species have been discovered in the cave, including poisonous and predatory insects such as the centipede. Although scientists have known about the cave for a long time, much remains to be discovered, and the new finds are expected to offer valuable insights into evolution and life itself.